Hey, this is Dirty South. Hi, I'm Hook and Sling. We're the Stafford Brothers. I'm Tommy Trash. This is DJ Goodwill. We're TV Rock. This is Corsi. We are the Potbellies. Hey, this is Bass Clef. This is Moment Master, and you're watching HQ TV. TV. On this episode, we'll be checking out all the action from our third birthday with an exclusive interview with the Potbellies, as well as catch up with Ministry of Sound's GJ Helena. We'll also see what Adelaide's men have on offer at the venue final of Manhunt Australia. Let's go! Oh, my throat! <laughs> We're here with the real pot bellies. You guys have just come off stage. Tell us, how did it go tonight? Man, it was fucking shite. I really, yeah. I didn't enjoy a second they, of it. I, they hated you out there, didn't I they? I know, man. I felt like I was just invisible on at the stage. Time, at one time, Johnny played a tune and he cleared the floor. No. So there was no one there. And then he got on the mic and he said something yeah. and they just ran. Really? No. People were hanging themselves. There's actually people trying to throw stuff at me. It was really like kind of embarrassing. No, yeah. it, was absolutely, it was absolutely brilliant, man. It's uh, the third birthday in HQ today, and we haven't had too much to drink, I promise. Like the last HQ interview, and it was absolutely rocking, yeah. man. The guys went absolutely ballistic. You've a great crowd here, as always. Yeah. It's, it's great to be a part of the third birthday. Time to wake up, Mr. Blackout Man. It's all about to get out of control. about the new album what's going on with the new album I don't know I haven't done anything about the new album I just have no yeah, idea I, uh, like right. has Alan and Blue written anything we have like we've just been touring for so long we've yeah, had yeah. no time we just right. want to write right. we just want to write man well, you, you're an artist you're an artist <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piss artist really to be honest the new album yeah tell us the new seriously. album is absolutely <laughs> you took the words out See? of my mouth cheap seats it's Whoa, cheap fucking seats. shit what we've tried to do is sell out as much as we possibly could we've tried to like that's write. what you said last time you were here have you done it further I know but it worked it really worked. So we've tried to sell out as much as we could. We tried to write pop music with a fourth of the floor beat. <laughs> gimme, gimme rhythm, baby girl. It's huge. It's massive. It's absolutely heaving. The album is basically a whole collective of the four of us on a new journey over the next two years that we're really trying to set the pace for ourselves because it's really hard to follow up a single that was a single. Do you want a drink card? Yeah, that was a single of 2008. Can I have one, one drink card? Thank you. And um, there's no point in trying to write another Don't Hold Back because it's never going to happen again. So what we've tried to do is just write music that's, that we're really happy with and produce yeah. music that we're really happy with with Alan and Blue. So it's been really fucking good, man. And you guys have been there since the start supporting us. Yeah, you know, well, so it's, you know, it's big ups. We, big love, ups. we love you guys and everybody else out there loves you guys. So, Aww. you know, it's, it's a pleasure. Do you want a hug? 
I wouldn't mind a hug. Yeah. Can, can I have yeah. two kisses? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even want one kiss. He wants two um, kisses. I'm very greedy yeah. that way. Very yeah. greedy that way. Fuck well, fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, thank fuck you. Yeah, no, fuck oh, yeah, no. Fuck yeah. This is Johnny Sonic from the Pop Bellies <laughs> saying good night. We is. fucking love you, Adelaide. Fucking beep the fucking like you beeped it just there. Thank you very much. Good night. Hey guys, we're here at the Adelaide venue final of Manhunt Australia. Let's go and see what the guys have on offer. All I do is party. wondering how do you maintain that body? Uh, I go to the gym about five times a week. Train six times a week in, a, in my gym right next door actually. So is there anything specific you do to warm up before you know getting out there any sit-ups any push-ups? Uh, you do a quick pump so you probably head to the gym a few hours before and have a quick uh, session all over so it gets all the body warmed up and a bit of a pump. A few thousand push-ups? Yeah just a couple. Michael uh, it appears that someone has sabotaged you what's happening with the leg down there? Um, it's a bit of a work injury um, I dropped the samurai sword on my ankle and I cut uh, the anterior tibialis tendon. And uh, do you think it's a hindrance or are you still gonna win this thing? Oh, I've got a good chance. Obviously you keep yourself very well kept up so what do you look for in a woman? I like uh, a girl to be nice and toned the same as well. Someone that goes to the gym looks after their body. What is it that makes you stand out from the other guys in this competition? Uh, I think it makes you stand out. I've got a pretty good physique, good attitude towards it. Uh, I'm trying to just have fun and keep relaxed and have a good time, I guess. One, two, three, and I woke up early, girl. with the queen of the clubs tonight it is Helena I've obviously seen out there what have you what do you think so far the club looks insane like it's packed you know which is obviously a good relief to be honest the bigger the crowd the better I play like I, I play a lot better in those environments um, I think it's the more pressure that's on you the you know the better I you know every, if the crowd's going nuts and my energy goes through the roof and yeah I feed off their energy they feed off mine so generally it's just yeah it's a good 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 vibe when it's like that if you had to define your music style what would it be I hate this question. <laughs> um, I find it quite hard to define my style because technically, sort of on paper, I probably cross most genres, sort of electro, tech house, tribal, techno. I, in my set, I can quite often go across the whole genre of house. Um, but, you know, I read the crowd, so I really just totally go with the energy. You've played some pretty big places in the world, Ministry of Sound, Pasha, that sort of thing. Where would you rate the best place you've played so far? Ibiza is special. Ibiza is very special. You know, it's very different out there. Um, I played out in space, and that was just that was just crazy. That's probably my favourite favourite. Um, but Australia's got an amazing scene going on. We've heard about your plans for world domination. It's not all about DJing and music these days. We were talking on radio about pink accessories and stuff like that. Tell us your plans for that. <laughs> um, we well, yeah, have been signed as the face of she DJ for Pioneer, so. You know, we're in the process, um, you know, of obviously launching the She DJ brand. It's just more about getting more girls into the scene because it's still so male dominated. There's really not that many females still in this day and age. And, you know, we kind of get a bit of a hard time, you know, because of that. Um, so it's just about, you know, leading the way, getting more females into the into the scene and doing it properly, like being as good and better than the boys. And it's really about that, you know, about getting out there, knowing your music, and smashing it hard, you know, mixing it properly and, you know, really out there making a good good name for the girls. Girls, 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 girls. 